Daisy Segovia, AP 2402, Chapter 21.1, Distribution of Body Fluids. The Distribution of Fluids. Fluid distribution can be broken down into two categories, intracellular fluid and extracellular fluid. Intracellular fluid, also known as ICF, compromises all fluid within the cell, meaning that the ICF compartment is the system that has all the fluid encased in a cell by their plasma membrane. ICF continued, ICF is known as a stable fluid. This is due to the fact of the amount of water inside the cell themselves. ICF makes up 60% of the total water in the human body. Extracellular fluid surrounds all cells in the body meaning that extracellular fluid is outside of the cells. ECF accounts for more than one-third of the body's water content. ECF has two primary elements, the plasma or the fluid component of the blood and IF, which surrounds all cells not in blood. Approximately 20% of ECF is found in plasma. The composition of the body's fluids. ECF and IF are similar because both have high concentrate of sodium chloride, biocarbonate, and protein. However, IF has a lower protein concentrate. ICF contains magnesium, protein, and high concentrates of potassium and phosphate. Composition continues. Composition of tissue fluid depends on the exchange between the blood and the cells in the biological tissue meaning fluid composition varies between each body compartment. Fluid moments among compartments. ECF is split up into several different compartments of the body's membrane. The main membrane are hydrophobic, meaning they hold off water, thus limiting the amount of waste fluid can move among compartments. Movement continued. There are small gaps in the membrane. Those tight junctions make it possible for fluid and some content to pass through using pressure gradients. Ultimately, fluid movement among compartments depends on different variables such as described in the Storling equation. Work cited. 